Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome from a sunny Bournemouth. The temperature's dropped a few degrees Celsius, that is, um, since the last couple of days when it's been very, very warm here, quite sweltering. Um, huge shout out to my darling girlfriend Sandra, who ordered a fan for me and had it sent to me. Um, that was really, really nice of her because, to be honest with you, it was becoming unbearable. Um, you know, you can have the same temperatures in different countries and you can deal with it no problem at all. But here in the UK, if we have anything over 25 degrees Celsius, um, certainly for me anyway, um, it becomes very difficult to cope with. Uh, but anyway, I'm not a meteorologist, so I shan't divulge too much. But uh, speaking of meteorology or things that go on that affect the weather, I thought I would point the camera up at the sky today and show you a couple of bits that have been going on. I'm catching sort of the back end of this. Um, they have been, I say they, you'll know who I mean when I say that. It's a bit of a generalization, but they have been active in our skies today, certainly in this region, um, putting things up there to protect us from global lie warming another lie um they call it geoengineering it's not even a secret you can look it up not a conspiracy theory they do it uh but of course they don't tell the pilots what's really going on they tell them the cover story the bullshit stories that they crack on with their jobs because if they knew that they were spraying their families with the same crap then they wouldn't do it i'm sure but yeah, they have been doing a lot of it today. I can see in the distance there. I don't know if my camera is picking it out very well here on my phone. I'm hiding a little bit behind that tree to the right, because otherwise they're going to get a sun glare. I'll try it with the sun. See, you can't really see much at all. So I'll have to go behind that again a little bit. But uh, I can see there in the distance, lots of lines, criss crisscross lines that have been plonked up into the sky. Uh, of course, from my angle, looking in that direction, that's not over Bournemouth, that is way further down the coast so uh, yeah I would say I don't know how far down the coast but uh, quite a distance but nevertheless it is in our skies no doubt about it and um, it will be affecting our health no doubt about that either speaking of health it was one of the reasons why I wanted to do this quick video that I'm doing from a spot that I quite like here in Bournemouth Horseshoe Common that I did a video from a few weeks ago, a couple of weeks ago. Um, I got a text message through today from the National Health Service. You know, the guys that were dancing in the corridors when allegedly we were all going down with a killer virus. Um, and it was concerning some industrial action or potential strikes, to put it in other words that were going to take place. Allegedly, the, the medical fraternity have voted in favour of taking industrial action. In other words, their staff refusing to go to work because they are, quite frankly, being underpaid and overworked. Now, this is a topic that I remember from when I was going to school, and I'm 51. So again, it's nothing new. Um, the same old, same old. Uh, yeah, but I just found it interesting that I got this text message through from the SCMG, I believe they are, which is the South Coast Medical Group, because I find myself here on the South Coast of England. And they were saying, like I'm supposed to be running around the street doing naked cartwheels in celebration, uh, that they won't be participating in industrial action. Aren't we the lucky ones down here? because they feel that the health and welfare of their patients take priority over anything like that. Well, we will see how long that will go um, if they continue to be treated badly in terms of their payments because they aren't being paid very well at all, especially the junior doctors who are barely making £15 an hour. Uh, and that's before taxes, by the way. Uh, so, yeah, it's a shambles, as always, here in the UK. The National Health Service has a history of, let's say, pretending to be this free service. It's not free. Everybody pays for it. We get tax on everything. So it's definitely not free. So I'd like to just dispel that myth once and for all. 
it is not free it's not a free service at all um, but they have always been uh, in a state of yeah almost being on the brink we're always given this impression and I think rightly so that uh, they are just you know a, a catastrophe waiting to happen they haven't got enough staff they haven't got enough hours in a day for that staff uh, I know people personally who have worked for the NHS for years and years and years and they definitely put in way too many hours uh, in a week um, well I mean so many hours in fact that I can't believe that you could ever uh, long term at least carry out a decent job at a high level without eventually succumbing to exhaustion and fatigue you know um, that's not the staff's fault that is of course the circumstances leading them to have to put in those ridiculous amount of hours but anyway I'm digressing of course as always but I just thought I would bring that information to you it's quite interesting and I wonder what it's like in the countries that you live are your medical services feeling the strain as well and you know are there issues with doctors and waiting times and this that and the other because there definitely are here um, you know, and uh, that's okay there's a little boy just next to me who's literally just flown off a scooter I'm not gonna turn my camera on him that wouldn't be fair bless him um, yeah, because it seems to be a thing that's happened here in this country for many, many years. And, uh, you know, it's uh, it's an issue that doesn't go away. Um, I remember when I lived in Germany for many years, for example, they also had issues with their health services. Um, they didn't keep going on about their health services like we do over here about how marvellously amazing they are because they're a free service and blah 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 trying to give you the impression that they're all mother teresa no 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 they just crack on with it and i'm not saying by the way that the staff do but the media definitely push that narrative here in the uk whereby you almost feel guilty as a patient to even ask them for help <laughs> you know i mean we're already warned off every time we call them on the phone to behave ourselves on the phone a computerized voice tells you that uh, you know aggressive behavior on the phone won't be tolerated blah 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 like you're already being berated before you've even had a conversation with anybody it's that bad it's that bad but yeah I wonder what your thoughts are on that um, I for one uh, think it's just a continuation of a fear-mongering campaign that's been going on now for years um, and and it's as simple as that uh, so yeah there you go I just wanted to bring that to you because I just found it quite in, uh, quite interesting I'm getting a text message on a Saturday telling me that uh, that my local GP that's the general practitioner for those who aren't in the UK you know my my local doctor surgery will not be participating in this industrial action these strikes that according to sources and I did a bit of checking up when should this all be happening and blah 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 uh, it could be happening at any moment and it could continue for months is the word round of the campfire so uh, I shall um, keep an eye on that and if I hear anything new then I'll bring it to you in a video because I think it's quite important to know about but there you go so while I'm talking about our health services being in disarray um, as always I'm showing you a bit of the sky and some of the evidence of the crisscrossing of clear geoengineering I'll use that phrase because that's the official phrase you can't get told off for that lovely eh we breathe that stuff by the way we inhale this stuff and that stuff also lands on the floor when it rains which means it lands in our crops, which means it lands in our food, which means it also ends up in our drinking water. Anyway, don't get me started. So, on that note, from a sunny Bournemouth, uh, I bid you all farewell. I just, like I said, wanted to bring you a brief sort of info video to you. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you've all been enjoying your weekend hitherto. Um, I'm going to go off to the shop, get myself a couple of cold, fizzy, alcohol-free drinks. 
and uh, I'm going to consider even ordering a Chinese takeaway because uh, I fancy a chow mein. Okay, so on that note, uh, I'll see you all soon. Some of you much, much sooner. Until then, take it easy and ta-ta for now.